Nico, what was the, the difference between half number one and half number two for the defense? You guys really just seemed to find your legs in the second half. Yeah, uh, first half, you know, we kind of, you know, we started out fast in the beginning and then, you know, kind of uh, stopped ex executing. Um, so just being able to, you know, adjust on the field and, you know, lock in on your, on your keys and just being able to play fast. And that's what we did on the, on the second half. So these guys came out ready and, you know, we were pissed off and so that, that's, that kind of feed into it. So. What about Duke's offense? Made, what did they do that made things made things so difficult for you? I mean, like, uh, some of they were using the quick game a lot. They were making a lot of uh, uh, switches and stuff. Just what what made it so difficult? Yeah, I think uh, they got some good playmakers over there on that side. Uh, the quarterback is very smart. He's really good with the football, and um, it was he was just putting balls on the playmakers. And I think they did a pretty good job using uh, taking advantage of those opportunities. Uh, you know, when you know the check out of you know whatever play they're in. Um, you know, to fill in the void that we couldn't cover. So, yeah. as it pertains to you, um, a couple times this year, teams have been successfully been able to isolate a running back on you and and, and, and go deep uh, with the ball. Talk about the challenge of that from your standpoint. Obviously, you have a lot of different responsibilities. Yeah, I think uh, you know that's a good, really, uh, really good running back. There's a reason why he's a kickoff returner. Um, he's fast, and you know I should have. Play them a little, give them a little space, but you know those are the things that you watch and you learn from, and you get better. So, yeah. more turnovers forced by the defense. Just how much fun was that? And just how good was it to be able to have that type of effort today? Yeah, um, a lot of people, you know, were pissed off. Like I said, um, and we didn't want to allow them to score in the fourth fourth quarter. And these guys came out and executed their job. We had adjustment and we played fast and played um, to the you know to the standard that we hold ourselves to. Uh, OJ Frederick getting one of those interceptions mm -hmm. and coming at a key time. Just to see a true freshman stepping up like that, like he has all season. What stands out about what he did with that play and just the progression he's made? Yeah, there's no surprise OJ is making plays. I mean, saw this kid, this kid, you know, his work and his work ethic um, throughout the whole summer, um, throughout fall camp, and you know now his you know labor is through his. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's no surprise he's, he's, he's uh, performing the way he is. He's very mature, he's very smart, and he's very instinctive. And, you know, you saw in that play, he played it really perfect. He played a top top shoulder. They, they knew, we knew they were going shots, and, you know, they picked up, they picked on him, and he took advantage of that. So, a good play by him. You know, Jadis, uh, saw him get carted off, but he started the last six games, got the pick when he found the play. Maybe just, what has he meant to the defense maybe the last month or so? It seems like he was getting better and better. Yeah, Jadis is a big part of our of our defense. Um, you know, he's a really good quarter and he brings a lot to the table. And you know, he'll he'll get better. Um, hopefully, it's nothing any major. Uh, but we'll pray for him, keep him in our prayers, and support him throughout his journey. And you know, uh, you know we'll see from there. We'll do a couple more. For yeah. How pleased are you when a true freshman can actually make a contribution? I know sometimes you have other classes, but a true freshman per se, and this guy Frederick, as we talked about made some big plays during his, what was considered a big game. Yeah, it's pretty rare to see one of those, um, you know, big time freshmen coming out of high yeah. school. And, you know, OJ is, you know, he's a one of a kind. And, you know, you see it at, at the building. Um, he's always in there, always watching film, always trying to get an edge and trying to get better. So it's no, no surprise that, you know, when, he, when, it, when the time comes and, you know, he shines. Why does this team not get around? Uh, because we, we played to all four quarters. Um, that's the main goal. Um, you know, the game is never finished until that, that clock is zero. So everybody just, you know, try to lock in and play on edge and be poised and be confident in what we do and, you know, just play it to the clock go zero. Anything else? Awesome, Keith. Thank you. Thank you.